here a symmetric biconvex lens of radius of curvature r means both the surfaces are equal convex value of the curvature is r refractive index of the material is 1.5 it's placed on the top of a plane mirror as shown in the figure an optical needle with its tip on the principal axis of the lens is moved along the axis up and down until its real inverted image real inverted image coincide with the needle itself the distance of the needle from the lens is measured as x on removing the liquid layer so there was a liquid here under the lens connecting the uh, plane mirror now you remove the liquid layer just keep the convex lens uh, only on the glass surface the experiment is repeated now the distance is found to be y where the image is coincide obtain expression for refractive index of the liquid in terms of x and y so when there is a liquid uh, it acts like two lenses one normal double convex lens and the shape below that will be concave because it's in contact with the convex and this is a plane so it act like a plano concave liquid lens when the convex lens is placed on the plane mirror with the liquid in between it is effectively acting like a convex lens made of glass and another plano concave lens in contact with the convex lens now before starting with the question we need a concept this is a normal convex lens so when the light rays are parallel uh, and along the axis they will converge to uh, a point which is a focus on the other side of the lens now if you keep an object at this point which is f the light ray will retrace the path and will go parallel after passing through the lens the red color represent when the object is placed at the focus now if we give a plane mirror here which can reflect this red light rays coming from o since the light rays are reflected back it is effectively they are coming from infinity again will be convergent from the image at the focus so in such cases like where the focal length object and reflected image from the plane mirror below the lens coincide object and the image coincide the distance from the lens to the object or image that will be the focal length of the uh, lens so when you keep a convex lens on a plane mirror with the object and image coincide the distance from the lens to the point where the object and image coincide is a focal length it doesn't make a difference whether the plane mirror is touching the convex lens or slightly below or even further below because the light rays are parallel whether you bring this plane mirror to half way still the light rays will be reflected normally back so it doesn't make a difference whether the convex lens is resting on the plane mirror or is above the plane mirror because the light rays after the lens will become parallel towards the mirror they will reflect and go back now with this understanding the position of the object or the image from the convex lens is a focal length first case when the lens and the liquid together 
the distance is measured to be x. That means the total focal length of the convex lens and the liquid lens, plano concave liquid lens together will be x. On removing the liquid layer, it's only convex lens and plane mirror. The value is y. So y will be the focal length of the just the convex lens. Only with convex lens, the object and image coincide with y. So y will be the focal length of the convex lens. With convex lens and the liquid in between, which act like plano concave lens, the needle coincide at y. So y will be the effective focal length of the convex lens and the liquid lens together. So as we just discussed, x is the focal length of the combined system, the convex lens and the plano concave lens. So y is the focal length of the convex lens. For a convex lens, by lens makers formula, we know the focal length is. 1 by f uh, equal to n minus 1 by 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. So focal length is y. Refractive index is 1.5 as per the question. By 1 by r, both are equal curvature. The first surface r1 is always positive and second surface r2 is always negative for the convex lens. So 2 by r into 0 0.5. 2 and 0 0.5 will get cancelled. So it will be just what? 1 by r. 1 by y equal to 1 by r or y is equal to r. So the focal length is same as the radius of curvature of the lens. That's for the convex lens. If we treat only the plan of concave lens, For a plano concave lens, the first surface curvature is same as the second surface, surface curvature of the convex lens. And the second surface of the plano concave lens is flat infinity. So again, 1 by f2, which is the liquid lens, plano concave liquid lens. Refractive index of the liquid is mu L minus 1 by the top surface is same as the second surface of the convex lens, 1 by minus r. And the last uh, surface below is plane. So 1 by flat surface, 1 by radius becomes infinity. This minus will go inside, 1 minus mu uh, r. Now we got the focal length of the convex lens along. And we got the focal length of the plano concave lens below. Now, for a convex lens in contact with another convex or concave lens, the effective focal length formula is 1 by f is equal to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2. Uh, here, r is same as y. So, you can substitute 1 minus mu l by y instead of r. This is the effective focal length of two lenses separately placed in air and placed in contact. The effective focal length will be 1 by f. So effective focal length is combined system x1 by x equal to uh, 1 by f1 is 1 by y directly. 1 by f2 is 1 minus mu by y. So 1 by f is a combination 1 by x. The convex lens alone will be 1 by y. The plano concave lens is 1 minus mu by y. Transfer 1 by y to the left side. 1 by x minus 1 by y is equal to 1 minus mu l by y. Take LCM on the left hand side. Cancel the y. Then y minus x by x equal to 1 minus mu l. So leaving y minus x, x by x, mu l alone one side, it will be 1 minus. You can transfer mu l to the left hand y minus x by by x to the right. So, mu l will be 1 minus y minus x by x. Now, 1 can be written as x by x. x by x minus y minus x by x. Now, x is common. x minus y, removing the bracket, minus x becomes plus x. So, 2x minus y by x. That's a refractive index of the liquid lens.
Now, actually, this is only the convex lens with the plane mirror. If we keep uh, a liquid in between, this will be the combination. This red part will be the liquid. That like a This part act like a plano concave lens. The red color part black like. Black like lens, thick lens. So this is a situation when convex lens with the red liquid is placed on the top of the plane mirror. When you remove the liquid, the situation comes like this. <laughs>